Corn Trader on the YouTube. On YouTube. On the YouTube. We don't need the article, the. No stinking articles. How about a big bonsoir to my good friend, a Queen on Star Flugelhorn. Serial, I want to say, uh, 73907. Yes. Mm, not bad. Okay. There you can see the uh, engraving. It's nice. Original lacquer. Original pads, original finger, but it's all original and it comes with the original case. Uh, quite a nice horn. Uh, it did have some dents on it and I had them removed. Yes, I did. And uh, let's see, you can get a better look. They used to be right in here. Those are removed. A little bit of the scarring is still showing, but still quite good. And then we had another dent right, right there where my finger is. And that shows a scar, but the dent's gone. Outside of that, that was the only thing that uh, was a glaring uh, cosmetic flaw on the horn. Uh, it plays quite good. Uh, it needs new pads. And I suggest a Bob Reason alignment, maybe McLeaning, you know, but uh, that's for you, the next owner. Uh, it doesn't have a trigger. I keep this little third slide down about, I don't know, three eighths of an inch. So like that. So tunes that have low Ds in them sound really good, but you're not really affected by the two and three fingerings. So it's a it's a nice horn. Um, speaking of low Ds, let's um, let's play a tune with the low Ds, so you can see what I'm talking about. Oh, and did I mention that it has a nice little lyre screw there, in case you want to do some marching jazz gigs? Yeah, mm -hmm. quite nice. The original. That's the way they always came. get real close to it. So that's right up on this mic here. So you can get kind of a cool sound, you know, that, that nice and wispy um, uh, kind of uh, freddy thing, you know, real close to the mic, kind of breathy.